Hi, I'm Alex Caithness, and in this video we'd like to show you some of the improvements we've made to the forthcoming version 1.1 release of Epilogue. For this update we had two main areas of focus. Firstly, we needed to ensure that we were keeping up to date with the changes to the SQLite file format. But also, we wanted to make sure that complex tasks in Epilogue were made much simpler to achieve. So let's take a look at some of these new features. Version 3.7 of the SQLite engine introduced a new journal format called Write Ahead Log, or WAL. In applications using this new journal format, you will see two new types of files, both ending with dash SHM and dash WAL. The WAL files may contain records which are yet to be written into the main database. Version 1.1 of Epilog can recover these records. One of the main requests we got from our users was the addition of new export options. So in version 1.1 of Epilog, you can now export to a tab-separated value format as well as the traditional XML format and also elect only to export selected rows. Previously, when Epilog recovered records that were incomplete, there was no way for the user to differentiate these records from complete records. In the new version of Epilog, where truncated records have been recovered, they're highlighted in grey, allowing the user to make more informed decisions about the data. We've made some major improvements to the raw data and disk image search facility. There is no longer a necessity to provide an associated database. You can now provide the metadata for the database that you are trying to recover manually. We've also added the facility to skip out-of-bound bytes when reading a raw data file. This has the potential to really improve recovery results when dealing with data that contains areas that are not actually part of the file system. For example, raw reads of a flash chip. What was formerly known as the Table Analysis tab has been updated to include other information about the database more generally. For example, the page size, the page count, text encoding and so on. Probably the most important update to Epilog, however, is the inclusion of a database rebuilder. The database rebuilder allows you to take the records that you have recovered from your database and write them back into a copy of the database so that they are live. This allows you to see these recovered records in context, maybe run SQL queries against them, or even parse them with tools which usually only operate on the live data. Let's see this in action. Here we have a chat database recovered from an iPhone. At the moment we're looking at the messages table and as you can see there's only one live record in this database. Using Epilog we were able to recover a number of extra records. What we're going to do now is export these records using the export to insert statements functionality. We enter the table name here. select these other options, click OK and write the insert file here. Now I'll show you how to use the database rebuilder to build these recovered records back into a live database. From the tools menu we select rebuild recovered records into database. First we select the database that we want to build the records into. Epilog will actually make a copy of this database so you're not writing data into the original file. Next we select which tables we want to rebuild. For simplicity's sake we'll just select all of them. Now we select which SQL scripts we want to run. In this case it's the inserts file which we just generated. We can then choose to copy live records, emit triggers from the table schemas and remove column constraints all of which can help improve the success rate for rebuilding. Finally, we choose a location for our output. Click Save and Execute. And Epilog will build these records back into a copy of the database. So if we compare the messages table in our original database to the one that we've just rebuilt, you can see that all of our recovered records can now be seen live. As always, you can download and purchase Epilogue from www.ccl-forensics.com 
slash epilogue. And if you have any questions or suggestions, please get in touch on epilogue at ccl-forensics.com. Thanks for watching.